Okay guys, our topic today is about classification of living things. Actually, what is classification? Classification is the process to organize based on the characteristics and the attributes. Let's talk first about taxonomy system. Taxonomy is the practice of identifying different organisms, classifying them into categories, and naming them. There are seven levels of taxonomy, start from kingdom, villum, class, order, family, genus, and species. There are some organisms in here such as worm, cat, fish, deer, bear, tree, lion, and tiger. Let's try to find the scientific name of lion by using taxonomy system. The first level is kingdom. The kingdom of lion is animalia. So the tree in here is eliminated. Second level is phylum. The phylum of lion is cordate. It means the animal with the backbone. So the worm is eliminated. The third level is class. And the class of lion is mammalia. So the fish is eliminated because fish is not mammalia. The next level is order. The order of the lion is carnivora. It means that animal that eats meat. So the deer is eliminated. The next level is family. The family of lion is felidae. It means the animal that can rule. So the bear is eliminated. Next level is genus. The genus of lion is Panthera. It means the wild cat. So the honey cat is eliminated. And the species of lion is Leo. So the tiger is eliminated. We can conclude that lion is animalia, cordata because it has backbone, mammalia, carnivore, felidae, the genus is panthera, and the species is leo. So the scientific name of the lion is panthera leo. Binomial nomenclature is the naming system by using the Latin name for the organisms. It consists of the word B, it means to, nomial, it means name, and nomenclature, it means naming system. For example, for this animal, the name is Panthera Leo. Panthera is from the word of the genus, and Leo is the species. So, the rules of binomial nomenclature, the first rule is start genus name with capital letter. So, look at the genus name, it start with the capital letter. And then the second, start species name with small letter. And the second word is Leo, it is the species and it start with the small letter. Third is italic to indicate Latin origin. It means that if you want to write the Latin origin or Latin name, you should write it in italic. But if you write it by our hand or handwriting, we can give underline. And the word is followed by the person who described. The animal or the plant, if it found by someone, so we can put the name at the behind of the name or the third word. Now let's try to do the 
these exercises. The first exercise is correct the following writings of the following species name. Number one, Magnifera indica, Bellia natura, Bubalus, Bubalus bubalis, Ziamice, and Orisa sativa. Try to correct the writings of the names. The second exercise is arrange the following taxonomy system from the broadest to the narrowest. So from genus, kingdom, family, species, order, class, phylum, and try to arrange it and write it in the box. In the last exercise, please explain what is the purpose of binomial nomenclature system for our life. Now I will talk deeply about taxonomy system. Actually, taxonomy system is found by Carolus Linnaeus. He divided the organisms in the world become five kingdoms, start from Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. Now let's talk about Kingdom Monera. The characteristic of Kingdom Monera start from it is unicellular or all have only one cell. And this is prokaryote, it means that they don't possess a nuclear envelope for every organelles. And then, this kingdom monera, the organisms are bacteria, cyanobacteria or blue-green alga, and spirocetes. And they made their nutrition by absorption of food through the cell wall, chemosynthesis, and photosynthesis. The example is bacteria. Bacteria is divided become the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. This is the example of bad bacteria. Start from Salmonella typosa. This is the kind of bacteria that can cause typhoid disease. And then the second is Clostridium tetani. It can cause tetanus disease. Is mycobacterium tuberculosis. As we know that this is the kind of bacteria that can cause TBC disease. And the last, this is the good bacteria for our body. And this is Acericia coli. It can help to decompose food inside of our large intestine.